Greetings, YouTubers. Today I want to develop a program using uh, Open Laszlo. It's a method to create rich internet applications uh, for your web pages or to run on desktop without having to have Microsoft Silverlight or Mono's um, Moonlight or Adobe's Flex or Java's FX uh, development uh, environment either. So we're going to go to OpenLazlo's site, OpenLazlo.org, and we're going to download it. They ask you for some information. Uh, I've already done this step, but they ask you for some emails and uh, put you on a mailing list. And this is all free software. Uh, it requires only that you have Java installed. The latest Java with the SDK as well not just to run runtime so I've already installed this I have it in my uh, user directory uh, under utilities so here's the file there uh, I'm going to begin the installation process now so I'm going to open up a terminal then I'm going to go to my utilities directory I'm going to go to the site and get some instructions Go to the documentation page, and since I'm using the latest Laszlo, I'm going to use the instructions for the developmental branch. So this tells me how to install the compiler. I'm not going to use the Open Laszlo server. I'm just going to use the compiler because I'm going to uh, upload these to my uh, website, which don't have a Tomcat uh, server. And of course, I don't have one on my local machine. So first, we want to set up Java. Make sure we have our Java environment variables set up for my shell. Uh, we're going to see what Java Home is. and, and um, I have my, direct, my Java set up in my OPT directory in root. I didn't use Debian to install it. I found a more flexible way to uh, do it where I always keep the most updated uh, Java development environments. check my environment variable now see what it says and it should say nothing because I haven't said it so I'm going to go ahead and, and follow directions and export my new Java home I'm fairly at home with the command line so I'm going back to the old CPM days, but I use a combination, whatever is, gets me there quickest. Okay, my my, variable, my environment variable is set. Next, I want to go and uh, actually extract the tar file that I downloaded from the Open Lazarus site. files there but I have these in my home directory so I don't have to worry about permissions and things like that it's just much easier and if I have to back up uh, all my open as files so I'll go with my backup okay so I'll uh, Next step, I like to make my directory names as short as possible, so I'm going to get rid of the uh, 4.6.1 version number and just make it LPS, so I'm going to use a move statement to, 
change that. Okay. That done. Uh, I'm gonna make sure my uh, web server is up. This is my local server that I use to test things. It's on. Uh, I use uh, XAMP. It's already running. And once again, my variables set. I'm going to go to the directory that uh, Apache points to when I, uh, for my local host. And it's my projects. All my web development is done here. And OPLs, what I use for my um, other programming products, other programming languages. I guess that's why I think that. I'm using an editor, Bluefish. It's a excellent editor. I've never had any problem with it. Never lost a file. Never crashed. Uh, kind of slow on upgrading it, but every version is solid. So I'm looking over my source file. I did this a few years ago. But I'm gonna make a few changes now. Nothing major. Uh, Open Lazo uses a combination of uh, JavaScript and uh, calls to the uh, Open Lazo libraries. So if you're comfortable with JavaScript, uh, you'll have no problems here. In fact, I find it easier than uh, ActionScript. I'm just going to call it BMI Calculated Demo. And I'm going to make a few changes to the results. Uh, if you overweight, I'm going to have it print a little emoticon, uh, text emoticon uh, frowning. Uh, if you're normal, it'll smile. Totally unnecessary, but. Thing about this, we can compile these for standalone uh, applications, or we can uh, compile them uh, server applications, which can you know, s store information on the server. But since, since it requires Tomcat, my web host doesn't have that, and I don't have it installed on my local machine, so I install these as standalone so I can import files as XMLs, but uh, there's not much facility to say. Okay, I've compiled it, and now I'm running it. Here's the test. Peace. And I'm going to go to my website, my blog actually, while I have this program running. And you load it like any other Flash application. metric or English system is for a normal weight and that's in a nutshell open Laszlo